Good morning, Breakfast Clubbers. It is me, Mike Vanderpool. I'm here today playing The Legend of Zelda. Long ago, Ganon, Prince of Darkness, stole the Triforce of Power. And we are now, we're playing this on the Nintendo so we can load some, or the Nintendo Switch, we can load some old uh, suspend points. And here we go. Last time we left, we'd completed level four. Um, we also got the master sword and we're hanging out here today we're going to go ahead and play level six and then maybe level five and the reason that we're doing them out of sequence is just proximity so uh, i am here at level six right now and level six not gonna lie it's tough it is one of the tougher levels it's like level four it's it's a leap it's a leap from what we had before uh, a little bit of, well, some new enemies, whiz robes here. They do launch or spawn in a consistent pattern, I believe. Oh, geez, this one, room's got. Oh, ah, here we go. We got a key. Do we need to go up here? I can't remember. We've got plenty of keys. This is probably just some. Yeah, <laughs> aim at the eyes of Goma. Uh, oh, yes, we cannot kill the old man as much as he frustrates us. We cannot kill the old man. So there's an orange whiz robe and then a blue whiz robe. Uh, let's see. I don't think that we can blow that up. Hope we can't. Is this automatically bringing my volume down and the game volume up? Hmm. Oh, oh, yikes! I was looking at the stream screen. It's a little bit delayed. We need hearts and fairies. Hearts and fairies. Everybody out there watching the stream, all how many ever of you are out there? Please, please, please. Hearts and fairies. We get the compass early on, which is cool. The boss is in that upper left corner. That's yeah, pretty cool if that's dynamic like that. I like that. All right, a whole bunch of bats. Let's see if we can kill none of these. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is this your first day? <laughs> Two hearts left, but we do have the potions. So, all right, there we go. Some blade traps. And, oh, this room will be tough. Oh man. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. One, two, three. Ah, don't eat my shield. Oh, man. oh okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Down to half a heart. That's all right. And then what should we put in our B slot here? Um, let's go with arrows. And remember, if we can attack across the room, that'll put us in a good spot here with all these folks. Do the blue whiz robes not actually shoot beams? Oh, they do. Okay. <laughs> as soon as I said it. Ooh. Arr. Okay. And this door is blocked. Here we go. There we go. Whew. Yeah, those folks that steal your sword are... Um, It can make it challenging, especially when there's tough enemies like whiz robes. Whiz robes, uh, the orange one's not a big deal. They're fairly consistent. Uh, here we go. We get a uh, old boss, same boss. So this guy actually, Gliok, appears three times in the game. Uh, ooh. We should just kill him. Let's quit messing around here. Oh, that's good. Yucky. Um, I don't know if you can bomb that or not. Nope. 
So the bombing the walls early on sporadically, but as the game progresses, I don't think there's, uh, I can't say that definitively because that's just a silly statement that I can't even back up. Got to be careful. Um, these like likes, like like three pizzas will eat your shield. All right, so now we have some decisions to make. Let's go down here and check this out. Uh, can't remember completely off the top of my head. Where to go and where it leads where. We may have to backtrack. Um, there are two connected underground passages. And you can see here now with the Master Sword, these vires, we make quick work of them. So having the Master Sword going into level four would have made level four easier. And now we are here and we need to not have our sword be eaten. Grab some hearts. Ooh, wow. <laughs> uh, that was that was quite fun. Quite fun. Oh, and that's interesting. So the orange whiz rope does not actually change its direction of where it's going to fire. Once it spawns, it's kind of like, hey, I see you. I'm gonna get you. And if you move to the other side, you have a clear shot, it looks like. All right, so now we can come down and we will end up fighting the boss here. Do we want to do that? Um, I mean, why not, right? Oh, for the love of Pete and Biscuits. Oh my goodness, it's your first day? <laughs> almost my first day so yes goma the boss is up north of us oh man Ooh. yikes uh and yes oh we may not be able to pull this off here we go we got it i think you can do it instantaneously so unless you were like taking damage going right into it i don't think it would be an issue Ah, oh, fairy, 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 come, fairy. Here we go. All right, so up would be Goma, would be the boss. Down here is mm, just bombs. So, should we defeat Goma? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're here. This is... I do this every time. <laughs> we need the arrows for Goma. And one shot real quick. You just got to hit him in the face. So I did just realize the bosses dropped those heart containers. You could actually go through and play this game with only... Could you do it with only three hearts? We'll have to look. But here we go. We've got full hearts again. And now we are missing. I believe it's just a magic wand. So you don't actually need to go get this thing. That's the trick. The magic wand is nice because it basically acts like acts like the uh, arrows, except it doesn't cost you. Uh, let's just go get it since we're here. I mean, this is definitely not the um, playthrough where we're going to 100% this thing. Um, I'm not exactly sure if we'll ever actually do that. Next playthrough may be a little bit more planned. This is just a nostalgic, fun playthrough for me, in all honesty. Trying to, you know, reminisce, recollect, get some content out there, initially just practice. This talking while playing is, is difficult for sure. Much props to streamers who do this on the regular. Ooh, that's going to hurt. See? See, that's where the arrow is good, right? Because I lose my sword for however many seconds that is. I at least can knock the like likes away with my arrows you know those blocks you have to be pretty score up on them to make a move i remember last time we hung out to the right
Ooh, fairy. Come back. There we go. Might be enough hearts to get there. These do not reappear. The mini bosses. Three headed Gliok there. I think level four Gliok will be somewhere. Oh, let me show you something really cool. This is this is another nice thing with the ladder because you can stand here and swing. So it's always nice to be able to hit an enemy when they can't hit you. And the ladder lets us do that. But again, these like likes, they move rather slow, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's see, did we waste a key or not? Ooh, more whiz robes. Man. They're to oh, I'm down to one heart. Eek. 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 Felt like it was going to move on me. Ooh, Nelly. Three hearts. Not bad. I think we can get somewhere. Yep. So here is the magic wand. And again, the magic wand. I don't know what damage it does. We'll have to go. I bet it's comparable to what the arrow is. Um, but the magic wand now. A lot, of, a lot of blue items here. Second level items. And yeah, it's got a hidden box in front. And then it shoots it across. So it's very much like the laser sword, for lack of a better name for it. Um, and then is there anything over to these sides? We haven't explored any of those rooms. Is there something else over here? Anybody out in the chat know? Okay, this this is kind of fine. A Zol with uh, some like-likes. That's not too much trouble. And let's see. Also, yeah, okay, it does, it does a good damage. On, uh, oh, Nelly, on these folks. For the game design class, we're, we're definitely going to have to count the number of hits that things take. We're going to deconstruct the original Legend of Zelda, like take it all apart, figure out how it works, talk about how, how talk about ways that we make it better, and then actually make it. There are secrets where fairies don't live. Okay, that's a cool little message there. I like that. Ooh, oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh, there we go. That could do some damage. There we go. I like that. Oh, wow. We're back down to one. Ah, that's going to eat my... <laughs> that was close, man. Uh, what's this room? Just some hearts, man. Fairy. Ah. So we've covered all the rooms. This room over here is tough. Let's see if we can just bomb our way out of it. I don't know, man. Fairy. Oh, no. And I got nothing. I got nothing. Uh, All right, we need this like like to drop us a fairy. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, so yeah, there's nothing here. <laughs> Great. Thanks thanks for nothing. So the middle of level six, we can avoid. The trick is to go north first. Yeah, because this isn't even anything in here. It looks like it, right? But it's not. The trick is to go north first. Then you can quickly get the magic wand. And then you can head to the little uh, midsection piece. I don't know what you actually want to call that. The room to the south, too, from here and to the right. Uh, that piece then that will take you, or that, that room will take you to the boss Goma. Uh, let's see. It's 11 o'clock. Oh, we're probably going to see the mechanic here of when you dine a level that you go back to the beginning. It's, it's pretty cool though. I do appreciate it, but you only get three hearts. So we've completed level six. We picked up the magic wand and we've got five levels to go. Five levels to go. Anybody watching this stream? No, yeah, it's all right. 
I mean, we could just stop after level six here and go play some Smash for a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. We'll record this later tonight. So, folks, hey, thanks for watching this uh, video. I'm working all my way through the original Legend of Zelda for qu quite a few reasons. Nostalgia, fun, doing some preliminary investigation and content around a game design course. So, would appreciate a subscription. If you made it this far, I've got other videos. I've got uh, White Sword Challenge. I'm coming up with some ideas for some other challenges, but I've so far played level one, two, three, four. I've got a video on prepping for level four. Level four is pretty challenging. And now level six, we're actually going out of sequence because it makes better sense logistically. Level six is closer to where you get the Master Sword after level four, and then we'll go to level five. And honestly, they're about the same difficulty. So we did it for efficiency's sake. So being efficient, thank you for your time. Appreciate y'all coming and checking this out. I'm going to go play some Smash.